in this particular page we have got this header at the top and then there is this menu and this is gonna be common for all the pages only thing that is gonna change is the title of this page and uh, this main content okay this is the main content that will change and down here the footer will also be same for all the pages so that is the layout so basically uh, when you create the pages in next years you don't have to include these headers footers uh, when you are trying to render the page okay so we are going to separate that using the layout so let us see how to do that and before I uh, tell you that one, uh, the main purpose of uh, having the layouts is that reusability. So you can use the, reuse these uh, headers components and then footer components across all the pages. So we, you don't have to repeat that. That is why we use the layouts. Now let us see how to do this in the Next.js application. Now we have got this index.js uh, page, which is actually home page for the application. And uh, from this particular function, what we are returning is the main content okay we are not returning that header logo etc we don't have to return that because that will be separated in the layout apart from the main content we also need to return the title and the description that will be used in the HTML head tag okay this will be useful for the SEO and that's why we have used this HTML head now HTML head is the custom component that I have created you can see here in the components HTML head. So let me go there. And you can see that I'm using this next head. So this is the this is the component provided by the next JS with the help of which we can define normal HTML title, then this meta text. Okay. So that is possible using HTML head custom component. Now talking about the layout, in the layout what we want to store is all the common components so let us go to the layout so this is the layout that i have created new layout.js and you can see that we have got these uh, three components header main and footer and here we are rendering the children so basically what is happening here is that to be able to render any page it needs to first render this header component then it is gonna render the children component inside this main and finally it will render the footer component so let us see what is inside the header so you can see that inside the header we have got this logo then there is a search component and there are also the navigation links as well so basically all these things are put into the header so that's about the header after that uh, children's will be rendered so every component gets this uh, children prop so children component is nothing but uh, what is written by the main component so basically if you go to index.js so this component is gonna return all these things okay so that will be rendered and finally we have got the footer uh, so that footer component will be rendered so let us go to the footer and you can see that uh, it is basically rendering this Facebook Twitter link social media links and then finally we have got this copyright text new layout is created now the next step that you have to do is you have to go to the underscore app.js file now this file is available in all the next year's applications if it is not there you can go there and uh, create this file and generally this is how the file looks like it has got just one function and it uh, renders this component by default and uh, there is this page props which gets rendered but uh, to create the layouts what you have to do is that you have to import that layout that we have created so we had created this new layout right so we just imported it here and then we have wrapped our component page component inside this layout component so basically what happens is that every page that is rendered via this particular function will have the header and footer okay header and footer now one drawback of using this kind of layout is that all the pages will have these headers and the footer okay this footer and this header but uh, let us say you want to have a different header and different footer for a certain types of pages for example if admin logs in he doesn't want to see the footer or header and his menu uh, let us say his menu will be different so in that case what you can do is that you can uh, you have the multiple components and instead of uh, rendering this layout over here like that way what you can use that what you can do is that you can go to the pages say for example index.js and wrap this entire thing inside the uh, layout that we have created for example say new layout so 
instead of uh, wrapping it in the empty tags like this you can uh, wrap it inside new layout component and for the say admin pages you can have another uh, layout component you can create it over there with different links different everything and then go to those admin pages and then wrap it inside that admin layout so something like that you can do that way you can have different layouts in the same website right if you have more questions let me know in the comments thank you for watching